made this man-made mead. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to take your wine bottles and put the shrink wrap on them. So right now I have a couple, quite a few wine bottles that uh, don't have any shrink wrap on them and that's fine. This looks okay, but I do like the different, I like putting this on here and you can make it look real nice. For example, here's one that I shrink wrapped and uh, it's a different color. I'll explain why. But it makes the bottle look a little better and I can make the bottle look even better if I did a legit label. Um, but that's the next step for me. So I'll show you four, well, I'm gonna show you two ways. There are four ways you can do it. Um, the first way that I'm gonna show you is using a hair dryer. Now there's nothing wrong with this, well, there's nothing uh, insane about this method. One problem that you have uh, is generally this doesn't do the best job of getting the shrink wrap all the way around sealed. So there's that method I'll show you. There's also, um, you can use steam, which I, I don't have a way to show you to do that. You can steam it using like a teapot and then you just continue to stick that, stick this around in front of the teapot and slowly go in. It's a really slow process, but it will eventually take this and put it on there completely. And then you can also use a heat gun, which is like a really nice hair dryer. Um, and they're a little more expensive and that's the same thing. You just go all the way around as you're going to you go slowly and that will shrink wrap this on. It goes a little faster than the hair dryer. And the last way is my favorite way I'll show you is actually using boiling water. And that's how I um, got this one to look nice. So starting off with the hair dryer. So here's the hair dryer method. Basically you just uh, go around very um, slowly with the hair dryer and it will seal it on there, but uh, I'll, I'll stop talking as I do this because the hair dryer is loud. So here's the hair dryer, just watch as I do it and see, kind of see why I don't like doing it. All right, so here's the hair dryer version, and I don't really like it because look at all these bubbles and look at this. The, it just did not seal it super well. There's air bubbles. It's just not clean, as opposed to like this one. This one's pretty clean, um, and not just because it's like a, a black little shrink wrap, but also because you can you don't see any bubbles in this one. You see lots of bubbles in this one. So I don't prefer the hair dryer method because of that. It takes a while. It's just not very efficient. I don't know. I don't like it a lot. So here's I'm gonna get take this off, um, and I will show you. Uh, the um, the method that I prefer. Now I don't have any videos of uh, sp uh, steaming it, nor do I have videos of a hot of a heat gun, but um, you can find those easily. I prefer this next method, which is using boiling water. Okay, my water is uh, up to a boil. Now here's what I'm going to do. There's a, the only hard part about this is uh, I want to. I'm going to move this over. I'm gonna move this over quite a bit. So here's what I'm gonna do first. This water is about to be at its boil. What you're going to do is you're going to take, and you have to be really careful. You want the hole to make sure this doesn't fall in. You're going to take and you're going to put this into the water. And when you do that, when you first put it in, it'll start to seal right here. So then at that point, you can take your finger off and it will just dip down and go in. So when I'm going in, I can stick this in, pull my finger off and I'll show you. And it will create a better seal like this. So let me show you. I'm going to pull this off the boiling real fast. Now the trick with this is you want to keep your water hot. So um, the boiling water is hot enough to make this work. So what I'm going to do is first I'm just going to take, put my finger on like I said. I'm going to dip it in slowly, take my finger off, push it down, and then lift it up. And what we have is I need to grab a towel. My only, my thing I have to wa worry about with these is my um, labels are uh, washable by water. So I just don't want to let them wash away. But now we have a nicely sealed wine bottle. And this, uh, the only spot that it didn't really get very well, which is not even that bad because it's where that foil is, um, is that. So this is... I mean, there's no blemishes 
on there. It's nice. It looks good. And it's easy. So I can do another one real fast to show you. All you got to do is take your finger, put it down, take your finger off, and it will seal. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Got another one. So that's real simple. That's probably the best way, in my opinion, to do it. One thing, one reason these are different colors is because I have color coding to help me uh, remember what means I have when I'm looking at them just on the top. So all of my just regular mellow mels are um, like peach, pear, apple, mango, all these are this red. All of my weird quote meads um, or different meads are like the like blueberry, cherry, um, pumpkin, uh, there's going to be like the peppermint, all those different ones are black and then all of my traditional meads are this maroon. So uh, ultimately shrink wrapping can make your uh, bottles look way nicer and I like it a lot. It's real simple. These are like 10 cents per like shrink wrap. So it does make a big difference. You can use one of the four methods. They are just to remind you, you can use the air dryer, which I showed you is not all that great. You can use steaming, um, which is uh, a little better but slow. You can use the heat gun, which is uh, probably one of the easier ways other than the one I just showed you, but you have to buy a heat gun. And then the fourth one uh, is finally using the boiling water. I use the boiling, boiling water method because it makes it a whole lot easier. So uh, that's all our methods. If you like this video, leave a like, leave a comment. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in another video. Bye.